Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? My name is Emmy. So glad you are here. Hope again uh, you are all well and healthy. We're doing fine here. Thank God. Today's video is a quick peek into our bathroom makeover. It's a DIY project Paul and I did, and I just wanted to share it with you. Let me explain why. So many times, frugal-minded people, such as ourselves, my husband and I, um, think twice before we go ahead and spend money. You know that, that's why I'm here. And there are times, though, that we need to do just that. We need to spend money. Our upstairs bathroom needed a makeover. I am not talking about like gutting it and putting in new fixtures, nothing like that. It needed a really good freshening up. So Paul and I talked about it and we went upstairs and we looked at the bathroom and the first thing we did, as with any project that you're going to begin, you look around the room and say, what needs to be replaced and what can we keep? What can we keep reusing? because that's part of frugality, repurposing what you have, reusing what you have, and not just spending money frivolously. So we went through the bathroom and we saw that we did not need new fixtures, like I said. We did not need new towels. We didn't need um, new anything huge. This was all going to be cosmetic, but cosmetic can add up. So we really needed to pick and choose what we wanted to spend our money on. So I gave myself um, a limit of $150. I know to some of you that may be crazy amount of money to others. What are you going to get done with $150? But that is what I told myself I wanted to use, $150. And I'm going to preface this by saying I did have a $45 gift certificate to Walmart. So I was going into using that, but I still wanted to money out of my pocket how to be below 150. So could we do it? Well, like I said, we checked the bathroom, saw what it needed, and this is what we ended up buying. Number one, we needed paint from the get-go. Um, it was dingy uh, and we needed a fresh coat of paint. Now, Paul went with a, what kind of paint was it, Paul? Benjamin Moore. Okay, so it was a good quality paint. A gallon of paint cost us $60 right off the bat. That was our biggest expense. And we went with the more expensive, because I asked Paul, why so much? And as he explained to me, this was a one coat paint bleed through from let's say uh where he had maybe repaired a wall where um putty was would not bleed through it had no fumes it was completely i couldn't smell anything right after we painted it was odorless just a good quality paint and so we paid more for it but that is a priority to us so that's why we did it Second largest purchase that we needed was a new shower rod. Our rod, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the before bathroom and you're going to see this rod had actual speckles of rust on it. It was a tension rod. We needed to redo that. We needed, um, oh, let me tell you what I paid for that. The shower rod was the second most expensive item at $32.99. But again, when you see the rod, you'll understand why. Another priority item. We needed new shower hooks. I had been using the plastic shower hooks you can buy. Um, they come in a tube, you can get them at the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. Unfortunately, um, they break, they crack, they are just yucky. So I said, let's spend a little bit more on shower hooks that we don't need to replace every couple of months. So the shower hooks were $12.99. The next thing I needed was window privacy film. We have a window that is half clouded, frosted, frosted on the bottom and the top is clear. 
and you can't have that in a bathroom. So we needed a new privacy film for the bathroom. Uh, that was $12.98. Now I am going to show you all this, but I just wanted to go over prices with you. We needed a new bathroom rug, point in case, just, it was, just needed it. It was $14.87. And then I needed a new sh shower liner because we again were using the plastic liners, which every month we would throw away and replace. Not a good choice. You know, we would buy them again at the Dollar Tree or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We just wanted to veer away from that constant buying, throwing away. That's what we were trying to get away from. So I bought a cloth shower liner. It was $9.84 and now, it is beautiful, uh, again, you'll see it. So my total from Amazon, which I bought the shower hooks and the shower rod from, was $50.98. My Walmart purchases, which was my privacy film for the window, my new rug and my shower curtain liner was $48. And then the paint from our local paint store was $60. So total all together was around $160. So I did have the $45 gift card, brought it down to $115. So we're going to show you the whole process of what we did from beginning to end. There is a short blip of me cleaning the grout, showing how I did clean the grout. I know I did that several videos ago, but this is just a short little excerpt from that because I think it had to tie in to show you how we deep cleaned before we did everything else. So here we have the bathroom before. Um, we have a corner vanity. This is just a little stand to hold stuff. Um, picture there on the wall, my magnifying mirror. We have a corner uh, mirror as well. It just makes the room so much larger. The window, we have one window in here. Oh, that area right here is where uh, Paul Reed did because the kitty jumps there to get into the window in the summertime when we open the window and she scratched the wall up terribly. So Paul just redid that. So we're gonna repaint it. And here we go. Okay, I'm in the bathroom upstairs and I'm going to try to take down this old, uh, I guess it's like a wallpaper banner that we put up a while ago. It's starting to peel. We want to repaint and we don't want to use this banner anymore. So what I did was I made up a, a concoction of vinegar and soap and what i was doing is without wrecking the wall um i made up this concoction in a spray bottle any spray bottle that's washed out and clean and uh, i'm gently peeling off the paper and then gently re-soaking that brown area and then scraping it off so it's going to take a little time and we don't want to ruin the sheetrock which is if you know anything about taking wallpaper off of a wall it's uh, a tough job to do. So let's see how far I get with this. Okay, I get some of that border peeled off, like I said before, and now I can soak this paper, which has the glue on it, with the vinegar and dish soap. And let that sit there for a little while. Not long. Careful not to dig into the ceiling at this point. Oh, that's nice, huh? Look at that. Time saver there, huh? Taking this thing right down. Great. Can't wait to see it when it's done. I 
know a lot of products will clean grout, but I wanted to do it a natural way, and I wanted to do it a cost-effective way, and I wanted to do it with stuff basically we have in the house. So all I have is a little bit of water here. Now I'm gonna make a paste with just some basic baking soda, okay? Then we're gonna mix this up. You want it to be thick. Okay, so you're getting it, it's, it's like a paste. And all I'm doing is taking this paste, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit here, and I'm rubbing it in the grout. Make sure you wear gloves to do this, definitely. Don't be touching all this with your hands. This is not awesome, this is vinegar. Vinegar and water mix, equal parts vinegar, equal parts water, in a clean, rinsed out bottle. Make sure the bottle is clean. <laughs> do not mix anything with anything ever, but I know you guys know that. And now what I do is just give it a squirt. You just take, give it a good scrub. And then I just take a little old sock because we repurpose everything in this house. And a little bucket of warm water. Look at this. and you can see how quickly and effortlessly that was. Hey babe, so we're in the bathroom. Everything is down, sorry for the lighting. Um, everything's removed and Paul, it's just like a blank canvas, which is so exciting. So here's the paint. We're doing it in basic white. What kind of paint is that, Paul? Uh, it's Benjamin Moore. It's a, for bathrooms in wet locations, it's a semi-gloss Okay, so white. it's just, just a basic white. white, yeah. Keep it nice, neat, and clean. That's why I think I need some pops of color in here. I wanted to change up the look of the bathroom as well. Not drastically, but in the way of my photographs. I had pictures, not photographs, pictures, I should say, that were in the bathroom. I wanted to go with a specific theme. And you all know my obsession with Disney. I wanted to give a nod to Disney, but in a way that wouldn't be over the top or um, I, I don't want to say too feminine, but my husband's using the bathroom too. It, it's a joint bathroom. So I thought, what about Disney couples? And I will show you how I incorporated Disney couples into the bathroom as well. I had these pictures hanging in the bathroom, but I do not want them back in there. But I want to use the frames. So I came up with an idea to use some Thomas Kincaid Disney pictures I have that were in, sorry about the little movement, a calendar. I had gotten the calendar, and this was from last year, and they're beautiful Thomas Kincaid Disney pictures. So I said to Paul, let's clean up the frames and see if we can take these and put them into here and see how they come out. So let's see if this will work. What I asked Paul to do was because we needed a border, was to cut out the picture. Show them what you did, please. So he cut the picture out and then we removed the dark blue Cinderella picture and we're going to use this as a matting around it. My bathroom is all white and our pop of color is navy. So I thought this one would be perfect. So he removed the picture from the calendar and now we're going to mat it and see what this comes out like. Here's our very subtle bathroom makeover. I just wanted to share it with you. Here we go, here's the first picture. Look at this, all the artwork in the room cost us nothing. So talk about frugal. Look at the ceilings, look at the border. This is where Paul took everything down. You can see how bright and clean, and it just gives the ceiling such depth. 
and height now where the border really brought the room down. We didn't do anything to our corner cabinet. We just kept that the same. We didn't need to do anything. Um, here's another piece of art I put up. This is my Rapunzel, love it. And this window, this is what it looked like before. And here it is later. Uh, it is a wing window cling, a privacy window cling, and it's a leaf pattern. As you can see, it is bright and it diffuses the light beautifully, much, much better than the dark we had before. And here we go, coming down. I told you our pop of color was blue and that's what we did. There's our new rug. It looks purple right now, but it's not, it's navy. We kept the towels the same because we didn't need new towels. And there, and our doors are light blue to the closet. And then here is another picture. And this one is of Tiana. And I thought this one was a beauty too. Just, we had all the frames, like I said. And then I'm gonna come over here. And what we did differently, this was the second most expensive item other than the paint was the curtain rod is bowed, if you can see that. Paul wanted this more than anything, so absolutely, there was no question. It gives you so much more room in the shower. You're not hitting the liner with your arms or body, anything. It just bows out and gives you so much more room. And another thing I'm thrilled about are these hooks. I think I paid 12 something. I believe I went over everything with you at the beginning of the video, but it's got the, the hooks on both sides. And so you hold your curtain on one side of the hook and your liner on the other. I kept the shower curtain because I didn't need a new one. It's perfectly fine, it's washable. I did get a new liner though. The liner is a cloth liner. I am thrilled with that. It can go into the washing machine little bit of money, but I think it'll last us a lot longer. So here you go. And this room is just so much better. So I know you may be thinking, wow, not a huge difference, but believe me, there is just a little bit of money. When you think about what we could have sunk into this, and what we used already, we reused the towels, we reused the liner, we reused our pictures on the wall. We didn't change anything big, but what we did change needed changing. I hope this was encouraging for you. It was super easy. It was nothing over the top. I think the hardest part for Paul was um, probably pulling the border down and then painting, right? Yeah. You know, so I mean, nothing crazy over the top, but fresh, new, and we just wanted to encourage you with this. So thank you so much for spending time with us. Please, if you're new here, click that subscribe button. Give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment. What'd you think? Did we do okay? I'm pretty proud of it. It was a small project, but it had big results. So thank you again. We love you all. Until our next video, we wish you blessings.